Alrighty, hey YouTube. I uh, just wanted to bring you all a quick little video on the Mustang. There's no specific reason for it really. Um, I just got a new phone and wanted to test out the camera on it. So uh, for those of you who are wondering, it is a Samsung Galaxy Note 5. I uh, made this switch over from my iPhone 6 Plus and so far no regrets. Um, but anyways, uh, we'll go ahead and jump inside the Mustang and start it up. Of course, here's the key. Um, Ford's typical older key. Uh, you have your lock, unlock, panic, and trunk release function. And then just the key blade uh, with the Ford logo there. And it does have a security chip in it as well. And for those of you who are wondering, yes, I do indeed have a Land Rover keychain because I ordered one off of Amazon and it's coming from like the middle of nowhere China and won't be here until like the middle of January or something. So as usual, foot on the brake. Here comes my awkward left-handed attempt at starting the car. Key in and twist to start. Turn off the air. Starts up just fine. Um, this camera so far to me looks really good. Let me know what you guys think. Um, how's the stability of it and everything? Um, of course, it's got the leather up steering wheel, which is starting to get a little shiny right here because this is the main area where I hold it. Um, and the other day I was eating lunch in the car and let's see if I can find where it happened. Right here. Um, I caught my fingernail on the leather on the steering wheel and it kind of pulled my fingernail back and uh, ripped the um, leather a little bit on the steering wheel. There's like this little crease in the metal right here. I'm not really sure what it's from. It's been here ever since I got it. Uh, we'll take a look at the mileage. Driver door open. It's got 35,767.3 miles on it. Um, 185 miles to empty at a little over three quarter tank. It's averaging, like I said in my last video, about 15 miles to the gallon. Uh, this is a little like oxidized looking or something. I'm not really sure what's going on with it, but um, whatever, it doesn't really bother me that much. I've thought about doing the GT500 steering wheel because this one's just not very ergonomically good for aggressive driving, I guess. But uh, it's not that bad. Of course, you have your Shaker 500 stereo system up here. I believe in 08 is when they added like the chrome rings around the buttons and things. Um, I could take that or leave it, honestly. I'm kind of glad I don't have it because it's one less thing to reflect into my eyes while I'm driving. Here's your uh, information system control, traction control, which kind of works when it's on and then when it's off, it's just completely off. Sometimes traction control will let you have a little bit of fun and then other times it just won't. Uh, so it's, it's just weird. Of course you have your aircraft style air vents. They work just fine, blow cold air, I don't care. Um, I kind of wish it had the vents that go across here, like the 2010 and up does, but it's not that big of a deal. Escort 9500iX, I will be filming a review on that, I swear. Uh, like I said in the last video, I had to get a little sunglasses clip because this car doesn't have anywhere to put anything. And garage door opener up here, and uh, because no home link. No auto dimming rear view mirror either. Um, and I hung some little dog tags I had made in the 10th grade up there because they look cool. Uh, gate opener, no vanity light, but you do get a very flimsy mirror. Um, and what's cool on the 2010s is this cover is actually shaped like the hood on them. So that's a neat little touch. Um, seats are doing just fine. I was going to take some good pictures of it, but uh, the camera's dead, so that's not very helpful. Switch the battery off. Had to, this is the third aux cord I've had in this car because it seems like ever since I've had it, aux cords are shorting out like crazy. Transmission's doing just fine. Probably gonna be doing a fluid swap soon-ish. I don't know. Um, I will be doing a full brake job on the car, pads, rotors, and everything. Uh, so if I feel like it or really know what I'm doing, I might make a video on that. I'm not sure. Uh, probably not because it's just going to be a big giant mess of all of everything. Um, cruise control on the steering wheel. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty excited about doing the, the brakes because the car needs it really bad. I think it has air in the brake lines right now. Uh, you can see that you do have the aluminum sport pedals down there though. I think that was part of the GT Premium package, but you can see how far I have to push the pedal before I get any resistance back. 
door panels um, they're still doing okay it's not starting to fall down yet but it is receding here that's uh, just a very typical issue almost every single one of these Mustangs I've seen is doing it that door panel over there is still stuck okay um, I don't know what I'll do about it once it starts falling down it'll probably start annoying me start to annoy me and I'll do something about it but right now it's not that big of a deal um, it's all tucked in the little cracks and crevices nicely so it's it's whatever automatic up and down driver's side and passenger window if this were convertible you'd have a switch right here for your rear windows and you'd have the uh, the power top switch right there um, for those of you who've seen my 06 GT convertible review with the red leather you know what I'm talking about power mirror controls they're fine uh, they work I it may have a blown speaker over there somewhere I'll occasionally hear a little bit of a tick I don't know though, it's not that big of a deal. There's other things that this car needs before um, it needs a new speaker. Door handles, again, still haven't fixed those. I will eventually, I promise. But as long as they're working, I'm okay. Uh, mirrors, I need to hit with trim restore again. Um, actually, probably not, because it leaked all down on my paint, or like when it was raining and the car was sitting outside. It just like dropped it all on the paint you can see like this film down it and it just was ugly again plastic dip GT badge right there new wheels still love them absolutely love them wouldn't trade them for the world I think they look fantastic uh, tread on the front is fine treads on the rears is not fine it's uh pretty much almost gone if you look right there you can kind of see what uh, the previous owner did I did just kind of shine the tires up a little bit um, this is the first time I've actually put tire shine on this car since I got it. I uh, just wanted wanted to make the wheels pop a little more. Uh, exhaust is still stock. I uh, still have the tiny chrome polish tips. Um, I do wish that it had the bigger tips that the 06 I filmed had. Because it seems to make them a tiny, tiny bit louder. But I'm going to be doing um, probably the MBRP axle back because it's cheap and it sounds fantastic. Uh, Next summer is my guess when that'll happen. Tail lights, still haven't done anything to those. Wanna, I, I want to tin them. I want the Gen 5 tail lights that Raxium or however you say it makes, but uh, probably not going to do that because that's $400. This, the black in here is starting to peel, so if it gets too bad, I'll probably do something with that. I don't really know. Blackout panel is fine. Still think it looks great. This does need to be hit with some trim restore, though. It's, it's looking a little grayish. But as you can hear, car still sounds really good, even on the quiet stock exhaust. Side markers right there, I don't know what I'll do with those. Probably nothing. Um, I would plastic dip them, but on a white car, uh, I don't think that would look very good. And especially since those actually light up on this car, um, just gonna leave it alone. Antenna, still doing just fine. This ball will pop off every once in a while, um, and I'll just catch it and put it back on. It's not, it doesn't pop off while you're driving. It's just like if I'm wiping the antenna when I'm drying the car or something, it'll do that. Again, still really would like these to be body colored. I wish they were up under here like they are on uh, my brother's car, but whatever. Uh, the Trico Force wiper blades still holding up just fine. Really like them. These are supposed to be a very good all season blade, so uh, we'll see. I think I'm, I'm impressed with them. They were 51 bucks for a set of two, which was. More than what I wanted to drop, but I'd heard good things about them, so I just went ahead and did it. Uh, like I said, doing brakes very soon, because they the car really doesn't stop, especially in the rain. It'll just go straight to ABS. It won't even try to stop. So it sounds to me like pads and rotors are shot because it shakes like crazy. Uh, I think the pads actually still have a little life in them, but um, the rotors are shot because it shakes like crazy under heavy braking, and um, there is no pressure in the brake line. It just goes straight to the bottom front end is doing fine it's collecting a few more rock chips here and there I'm not that worried about it here's one that I uh, stuck some touch-up paint in right here the paint is doing what Mustangs do and having the peeling paint issue that looks like it started with that rock chip um, nothing I can really do about that besides have the hood repainted and I'm not spending that money so forget it um, there was a little scrape right here that the previous owner touched up. I don't really know what that came from. I'm going to be getting rid of the orange signal markers really soon, probably in the next few weeks or so, because um, I just think they look ugly. Did plastic dip the chrome on the license plate frame. Thought about plastic dipping the Mustang emblem black, 
but decided against that pretty quickly. I just think it looks good chrome. Um, I'm not usually one for chrome, but in subtle amounts on this car, I think it looks good. Of course, your uh, non-functional hood scoop up there, uh, I think it looks fine. I think that was something that came with the GT Premiums, because I have seen some GTs that don't have the hood scoop. Um, I'll go ahead and open up the hood. After listening to that annoying beeper, um, I hate the chime in this car. It's so cheap and tacky sounding to me. Um, again, rock chip right here. Don't know where that came from, but it's it gets some, some highway miles on it. That's why I put almost 7,000 miles on it. It's gone on several road trips already. Under here is completely disgusting. I don't really care. It's under the hood. You can see down there where it looks rusty. I think one of the old batteries that was in this car like leaked or something. Um, good old three valves, still running just fine. Um, it's really enjoying this colder weather because it seems to be running a little bit faster. Throttle body does look kind of dirty on the outside, a little oxidized. I did put the K&N sticker on there for my filter, probably getting about time to clean that. Um, and one thing I did notice the other day when I was uh, clean, or putting some washer fluid in there is right down in there, there was a dead snake. So that was nice. Just pulled it out with a set of pliers and got rid of it. Uh, I may add the hood strut kit eventually. You can see non-functional hood scoop. Woohoo. One thing that's really annoying about the hood scoop is after you wash it and then you drive it, it gets water stuck up under here and it just goes everywhere. Back on the windshield, back across the hood, down the hood when you're slowing down. It's just nasty. Um, whatever. I wouldn't get rid of this car for the world. Uh, I can't express to you all how much I love this thing. It's such a great car. If you're in the market for a muscle car, I would absolutely recommend a Mustang. They're just, they've got so much heritage. They've got so much character. They may not be the most practical car or the fastest car or whatever, but I mean, it just has the emotion factor that a lot of cars are lacking in my opinion. So anyways, guys, that really pretty much wraps it up. Let me know what you think about this new camera quality. Um, if it's good enough, I'll actually maybe use this phone to film some videos. Um, but anyways, thank you all for watching. We'll catch you next time, and take care.